Hello there friends, it's Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here and this is your first time here, thanks for being here and I would love for you to go hit that subscribe button while you're watching and then maybe go back and look at some other videos that I've done because I have done quite a few in the past couple weeks. I'm not quite sure how many exactly I've done, but I've definitely been on a roll. So be sure to go check those out. But for today's video, it's going to be a short and sweet one and it's all about a topic that I really get into and that is the topic of nude lip colors. Now, my last video was actually about red lipstick, so I guess I'm kind of on a lip kick here, but I wanted to talk about nude lip colors because I feel like it's one of those effortless, very easy, low maintenance colors that everybody can wear. And it's one of those things that I get asked about a lot. Like, Jennifer, what's your favorite nude lip color? And of course, there are a gazillion of them out there and it's not a one size fits all color, but there are so many options out there and there are definitely, I definitely have my favorites. So like I said, I, today I just wanted to share with you my top three nude lip colors and what they are and why I like them. All right, so let's start with my first fave nude lip color, and that would be this NYX Butter Gloss. Now, this is the one that I actually am wearing right now on my lips, and a NYX Butter Gloss is actually a staple in my makeup kit, in my purse. I actually carry two of these around at all times. I usually have one in a purse, and I usually have one in my makeup kit as a makeup artist. Um, it's just one of those formulas that it feels great. For a lip gloss, it's not super sticky. Your hair doesn't get caught in it. There's not a strong fragrance and NYX makes some of the best nude lip colors. This is not really the only nude, nude color that they have in their line of butter glosses, but it's one that I go back to in terms of being nice and neutral. So this color is actually the tiramisu color. And like I said, I have it on right now. I think it's pretty. The butter glosses are super duper shiny. As you can tell, I might as well just swipe on some more. The great thing about them, they're $5, which is why I constantly buy and rebuy and rebuy them because they're not that expensive. Um, and the pigments are always beautiful. This one is kind of semi-sheer. It's not super opaque, but it's not the most sheer. It's not like a chapstick. It's just a most beautiful lip gloss and they are effortless. You can just swipe them on. You don't need a lip liner. And the tiramisu color is just the perfect, perfect nude for me for my lip color. Usually when I pick a nude lipstick or lip gloss, I try to go for something that's just a little bit tad darker than my natural lip color, which is what this does. It kind of mimics my natural lip color, but it's a little bit better. Um, it does have a hint hint of pink. It doesn't go more brown. It goes more pink in terms of the nude category, but the tiramisu color is an all-time fave. I can't tell you how many times I've bought this. For $5, it's definitely worth a try. Now, my next favorite nude lip color that I reach for a lot is the MAC Cosmetics Velvet Teddy lipstick. Now this is considered a matte formula. However, for me, I feel like when I put it on, it's actually not as matte as some formulas that I've tried before. It's kind of middle of the road. It's definitely not shiny, but it's just like a good kind of almost satin matte in my opinion, but it is a wonderful, wonderful nude color. Now, if we want to compare it to the tiramisu that I just talked about, it goes a little bit more brown nude. Actually, I think that Mac describes Velvet Teddy as, I, I, wrote, I wrote this down, they wrote it down as a deep toned beige. Now, when you hear the word beige for a nude lipstick, that sounds kind of boring, but this color is anything but boring, and I'll have to roll the the, the B-roll footage of me wearing it because I'm still wearing the tiramisu right now. But the Velvet Teddy is actually a really beautiful, if we want to call it a, a beige, it's a beautiful beige. And I feel like it can actually work for a lot of skin tones. I do carry this one in my makeup kit. And even though I wear it and I'm kind of, you know, kind of a medium skin tone, I'm light to medium skin tone, I can use this on my darker skin clients and it looks beautiful on them as well. This product is only $19, so for a lipstick, it's really not that bad. And the Velvet Teddy, unlike the lip gloss that I just put on the tiramisu, this one you do a couple swipes and you're good, whereas I will just swipe on the butter gloss all day long and use it up a lot. This one you just put on a couple swipes and you're good to go. And the color is nice and rich. It is very opaque and it's just a beautiful effortless nude lipstick that pretty much anybody can pull off. Now for my third and final nude lip color that I've been wearing a lot lately, it is this Maybelline Super Stay Matte ink lipstick and the color of this is called Seductress. Now the Super Stay 
matte lip inks I have been wearing a ton lately when I want something that's more long wear. Typically long wear lipsticks kind of dry out my lips and they get flaky and they just don't look really great on me personally. But this formula is super, super comfortable and it is the most long wear of the other two that I've just mentioned in the video. Um, this one actually, I can wear it for a pretty long time. I can crack open a drink like this and drink out of the can and it doesn't transfer terribly bad, which is also a nice bonus. But this color Seductress, when you pull it out, it has the really great doe foot applicator, which I love in a in a lipstick applicator. When you swipe it on, it is also very opaque. So the color is really, really beautiful. And it goes, compared to the other two, I feel like it's kind of like the tiramisu gloss, but a lot more opaque and a bit more rich, obviously not sheer at all. Um, but it is very much a nude with another, like kind of a hint of a brownish pink, I guess you could say. But I love it. Again, don't have it on. I'll have to roll the B-roll of me wearing this, but I love this stuff. It's very comfortable. It is long wear. It is matte once it dries on your lips, but it has some really great staying power. And this one is only eight bucks. I think in the ads, they say that these super stay lip inks last for 16 hours. I don't know about that. That would be pushing it a little, but I definitely think it wears for hours compared to a lot of other liquid lipsticks that say they last for a long time. This one, I would, I would definitely say that I've, gone through eating lunch and it still stays on. Now I don't know about eating dinner as well. It depends on what you eat, but this one definitely does have great staying power and the color is just so pretty. Every time I wear it, I always get compliments on it. So definitely check out Seductress if you are in the mood for a long wear matte liquid lipstick. Now I hope that you enjoyed this video and if you did, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. That would mean a lot if you just quickly did that. I'd really appreciate it. And like I said, go subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will link all of these um, lip products below in the notes description of this video in case you wanna go click on them and check them out. And be sure to go follow me over on Instagram and Pinterest and Twitter and Facebook, all those good social media outlets over at Jenny Sue Makeup. You can find me there everywhere. And I really appreciate y'all being here and I will see you on the next video. Bye. We're gonna talk about one of mommy's favorite subjects today. Do you know what it is? It's nude lip colors. <gasps> what do you think? Does that sound exciting? No, he doesn't sound exciting. He doesn't sound excited. Okay. <laughs> We don't want him in that, doing that.